Hi guys, I'm back with the last video of today. It's gonna be about uh, varnishing this one. I cleaned it with Dawn dish soap, so I'm hoping all the silicone is gone. And I really wanted to show you a little um, little piece of Yupo I did. That's kind of cute, isn't it? That's up really, really close. It's not really that big. If you can see my hand here, that's how big it is. But I thought the colors were really pretty, and I'm going to try to do a um, uh, one of those uh, bezels with a little bit of resin. I'm going to try that. But it has to dry first. Yes. So here we have the um, the canvas, and as you can see, I don't see any spots of silicone because Dawn dish soap really does the trick. Uh, for the Dutch people, it's draft gewoon middle. You clean it with a, um, a sponge and you get it really good and soapy so it takes up all the um, the oils and that's about it you have to be careful though because when you do that with a sponge take a very light colored sponge as soon as you see it bleeding you have to stop you have to rinse it off and stop and I wouldn't be patting it down to dry because then you know it just might you know really turn into yuck so don't do that so, what I have is the satin fluid medium, because we want some satin color, satin shine, I mean, not color. Let's see. Now, I'm going to take my new brush. I am going to put this on there. And it's white, that's okay, because it's going to dry totally transparent. And as you can see, wow, this brush is good. It really is. Well, let me not say that straight away. Let me just do some more. Yeah, I love it. I'm going to order a whole f truckload of this. So, I'm going, um, you see that I'm doing it like this. And then like that. And that's what you have to do. Ooh, I like it. I, li I really like this stuff. This is a fine brush. Now, what I like to do is add a little bit more after the first little layer and then come back over it again like that now do the sides And when I swipe over it with my brush, I make sure that it's really fast and it almost doesn't touch the, uh, the canvas. Like that. It is a little shiny, as you can see, but I'm sure that's gonna go away once it dries. So this is the last one, that's it. As you can see there is a little, you can see a little strokey stuff, but that's going to go away with the second layer. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I have to clean this one first. I'm going to put this one away for a bit and, and get my other one. Oh no, I've got that one downstairs, I think. Oh no, it is here. 
Okay, the other one that um, a lot of people have bought, that's the polyurethane. It's gloss varnish. So I have to really get my brush dry. Don't want too much water in there. And this one also I cleaned with the Dawn dish soap. And I like to put it on like that. And put your brush in there. Make it nice and wet with this uh, poly stuff. Do this side first. See how those colors pop up? Okay, and as you can see, there is some strokes, but they do pull away. But you do need enough of this stuff on there. So, here you go again. Really softly. Very softly. Like you're almost not touching the the canvas. Um, the first time you put it on, like you can push. Now I'm pushing, so that you get it all over the place. And then when you do the final one, you just really like you're really almost not touching it. And as you can see, it it sort of I don't know. It just pulls straight and it's like a sort of a resin but this is really really um this is a glossy glossy one so if you don't like the glossy you'll have to go for the uh, satin they have the same in satin i think i'm not sure i can check later so then i do this side Oops. There it is. And that one I already did. I did that side, as you can see. That side, that side. And now when I put the light in it, you can almost not see a brush stroke at all. See that? That's beautiful. So we're going to leave this one to dry and do a second layer a little later. But I there's um, a, a thing on the label that says wait for four hours, two coats, four hour intervals. I don't like waiting four hours. I think it's just, you know, if you live in a very humid place, it just might not work. So I'll I leave it till the next day and then I do the second layer. That's what I do. There you go. Nice and shiny. Okay, guys. Um, if people in America, if you like this stuff, you got to write to Dick Blick. He's, uh, he's already got the Vallejo uh, fluid, so uh, why not buy this one too, right? <laughs> With one of these bottles, you could be uh, varnishing like, I don't know, I think um, ooh, 20, 25 paintings. And, you know, it's it goes on very smooth. I did have one time that it cracked on me. I don't know what, what I did wrong. I, 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 I must have done something. I don't know. I think I was in the kitchen and I had the doors open that a lot of that um, wind was going. I think something has to do something with that. But we'll see. I'll show you all in the, in the morning, both, uh, both pieces. And... Right now, let's see if I can already show you the other one. Yeah, this one, see, this is just different stuff. You can see all the brush strokes. But this one is going to be uh, satin, so it's going to be uh, not as obvious. And the second coat I'll put on a little thicker, because now i got the whole thing covered. 
don't have to worry about silicone anymore. So the second coat I'll put on a little thicker, but as you can see, it's drying nice and transparent, and that works. So that's it for today. I'm going to put this one up too. And then tomorrow I promise another three or four videos. And uh, I was going to do a big one too for the 300th video, but, but it just didn't work out that way. I think tomorrow I'll have more time to mix up a lot of paint. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to do it with the fluid, fluid acrylics. I might do that with the, um, with the uh, Windsor & Newton. Yeah, I might mix up a really big batch of paint and do a really big one. Hmm. I'm thinking about it now. Because I have some really big canvases waiting for me when my studio is ready. Nay, I can't do that. You know, people, I'd love to do it, but no, I'm thinking of wh where am I going to put that thing to dry? I can't. I don't have the room up here. So my husband, uh, you know, says, I don't mind uh, sleeping in a, um, a bedroom where there are paintings, but not if I have to tiptoe through the paintings to get into bed, because that is... <laughs> I had them all over the place. So um, I don't think that's going to work out. We'll have to wait till I get my studio really uh, up and running. And it's not going to be that long anymore, because, uh, you know, I've got the tables and the chairs, everything's in there, the cabinets. Um, there's going to be a, um, a carpenter. He's going to make those uh, shelves where I can put all my paint on. And it's coming together, it really is, but I have to wait for it to be ready. I can't, you know, I can't bug my husband. I can't say, isn't it ready yet? I want to get into my studio. He'll, he'll, he'll really, he, he doesn't like that. <laughs> okay. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow in a new video. See ya. Have, oh, please make something beautiful. And go to the Facebook group and show us. Please do. Okay. Bye-bye.